uh, table. It actually comes very well wrapped and organized. Um, even the screws and everything is completely organized and, and wrapped up very well as well. Most of these kits I see, they come and the screws are like broken apart all over inside the box. So kudos to them for doing a good job of actually wrapping them up and making them look uh, decent when you finally get them. So cool. Getting ready to <clears throat> assemble my armor tool, butcher block style. I organized all the hardware just so that they'd be, you know, easier to get to. Destructions, of course, and uh, some Milwaukee tools. Uh, three inch drive, quarter inch drive for the two different socket sizes for the ones for the casters and the other ones for all the bolts for here. So good to go. Everything's unloaded, unwrapped, <clears throat> uh, set out. I organized, but loosely tightened, not torqued down yet. Two sets over there, uh, getting ready to put the armor logoed braces on. Make sure that they're facing the correct direction before you put them together. Otherwise, it'll look kind of silly once you're done. So here we go. So I've got the legs assembled, um, but loosely and tightened for now. Uh, now I'll do the side supports and get those bolted in and continue on. So main cross beams are installed. Again, just all wrapped up. Looks good. It's a pretty looking top, that's for sure. Well, back to assembly. Again, well packaged. Build the other side. I'll go set this down over on the top for now and then join the two pieces and then bolt them down to the top. Well, this side's pretty much completed, um, all hand tightened and ready to, I'm going to set it up with this one that's just sitting on top of the top, bolt them together and then get them ready to be screwed down to the top. The second set is put together, again, hand tightened and I'm, Holes actually just to make sure that they're not blocking the dog tank holes on either side. So everything's pretty much right where it needs to go. I'll start screwing it down. Checking with the tape measure to make sure that both sides are equivalent. One last time on a slower setting just to make sure not to break off the head again.
13 mil. And I'm just gonna go around and tighten up all these bolts that are just hand tightened now that everything's screwed down to the top and it should be nice and squared up now. So we'll just start doing all that. Take my get a cordless ratchet or wrench with a 13 mil. And I'm just gonna go around and tighten up all these bolts that are just hand tighten up everything screwed down to the top. It should be nice. One, and then I'll go ahead and tighten these all up. My three eighths inch or three eighths ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket on it. And the instructions to go ahead and just lock all the casters before you try to flip it up so that it doesn't want to roll from underneath of you. So I'm just doing that, a little preventative maintenance. I'll go ahead and start installing the casters onto the legs. bench bench dog holes all over it come in really handy for building and assembling stuff i put it up at a little bit higher height just so it's easier to work with um got to build the shelf down at the bottom now and then maybe another shelf in between i don't know i'm figure out something there's still plenty of room for some extra storage in there so all right, very impressed. There was exactly the correct amount of hardware, period. And everything fit together just fine, even with me breaking a couple of the screw heads off, which is my own fault. So, all right, good product, excellent deal. Thanks, guys. Well, and there she is. Little tabletop, roll around.